What's up, man? What up, young man? How you doing? Life is great. Can't complain, brother. This is Master Ace. You guys may know him uh, as one of the most amazing handball champs of Rockaway. <laughs> Was Old Dirty Bastard supposed to be on Crooklyn Dodgers? I'll tell you this. We recorded a version of the song Crooklyn before that screening. And Spike Lee was like, he heard the song. He's like, song is cool, but it's not really embodying what the movie is really about. The movie takes place in the 70s. It's a, it's a period piece. You guys need to see the movie and then go back and redo the song. And so, okay. that's a, so that was the day that we did the screening. Uh, you stay constantly on the road, which is a great thing. Is that something that is just natural to you? I don't have songs on the radio like that. Touring is really the lifeblood of an artist like myself. Who did you have the closest bond with and who are you still cool with, uh, close in, 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 in that perspective with uh, any Juice Crew members? Oh, Kane, me and Kane, been cool. This guy, Master Ace, is a, a, a guy who's empowered me and emboldened me even before I met him. So it's it's an honor to have him. But it's all about the stash. And you've been active for, for, for some time now. And I know you collected some greatness. So if you can, show us some good stuff, man. Let's start with just the action figures. So this has never been opened before. And I don't have the full collection. But this is DMC. <laughs> that's, DM, that's that's my man DMC, the all-time great. He busts the, the most rounds in New York State. Uh, Kwame had a live uh, birthday party performance, and I performed next to Biz. I did me yes. and the Biz <laughs> with this guy right here. Got the '69ers on. Oh, he killing Ooh. him with this, the footwear. Got to hit him with the hearts. Glad he got his hat on today. So, of 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 all hip hop individuals, who has a serious collection as well? This guy right here definitely does. Kwame, you need to get him on the show. All right, let's take it to footwear. A lot of people don't know, but I did a collaboration with a company from Brazil called OUS, O-U-S. And this is my actual signature shoe. If you can see the logo on the tongue. Wow, yes. And you got the MA on the back. Ooh. And then the inner sole, the insole is, um the long hot summer cover so this is the these are the insoles i took them out but you can kind of see the <laughs> the steps kind of cool that's beautiful that's very cool did you have a history with graffiti i had a history but it wasn't a long history okay good um i was definitely a follower of the culture there was there was some major graph writers in my neighborhood in brownsville uh, shout to MOG, Masters of Graffiti, uh, Cito, um, yeah. um, Bus By, all those guys. A couple of them was from Seth Lowe Projects in Brownsville. Mm -hmm. uh, my guy Cito was from Seth Lowe. And in that building that he lived in, from the 11th floor all the way up to the roof, the, the, the back hallway was completely bombed all the way up. Like you open the door and it was just... It was. Yes. It wasn't. It was pieces like the whole hallway. <laughs> crazy. I, I never really got to that level where, where I was really like crazy with it. Cause mm -hmm. I, I went to college. College Smart. actually saved me. This is a special gift that I got. These have never been worn open. Nothing. These are exclusive Eminem. Yes. Jordans. Um. The the the, the collaboration is with Carhartt. So. This is like the Carhartt material, you know, the Carhartt jackets. Yes. This is that material. It's like a denim type vibe. Wow. And these are these are super dope. Um, he gave me these. Like I've never. All I did was keep them in the box. I, I was told they were worth a lot of money. Let's go to music now. Please. I'm gonna show you this, and you're gonna be like, "What the hell is that?" First of all, it's a cassette. Yeah, it says Christmas 1986 is what it says. This cassette is the recording of the contest that I won at United States of America back in 1986. And by virtue of me winning that contest, I met Molly Maul and my music career began. <laughs> so, oh my God. so I still have it. Hearts, that's, 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 a beautiful, that's a beautiful thing right there. Oh man, you got a Miss Melody in the back. 
So what you got back there is two two Vibe magazine covers when they honored Left Eye when she passed and Aaliyah when she passed. Wow. Um, my wife actually got those uh, mounted because she really loved those girls, respected them. And then of course we got Miss Melody over my other shoulder. Yes. Uh, that Miss Melody was painted by my Muddy Pies. It says, nah, man, I ain't buying it. Hey, so uh, what was that moment that happened in your career that you were amazed because a person knew who you were? The first time I went to London, 1991, I think. I had a song called Letter to the Better. Letter? Uh, yep. And that joint was like the record on the streets of Brixton. I had no clue. And I went and performed that song and you're talking about the whole entire venue jumping at the same time to that beat. I had no idea that people on the other side of the world, the pond, knew my music and was rocking with it like that. It was, I was, I, I was amazed. Like I said, wow, they really, they know my stuff over here. Cause that record wasn't really making a lot of noise in the States. Yes. So you've, you've also not only wrote music, but you also doing other things that you, that you're penning, huh? Yeah, I'm writing a musical. Um, I was actually writing that right before we got on the air. I was working on a couple of the songs for this musical. It's a hip hop musical and in combination with a company called Rhymes Over Beats. They're a hip hop theater company. Is there a film, a book or something? What, what is the, the, the latest thing you've been inspired by? Hmm. Man, did you see the, um, the, Malcolm, the Malcolm X documentary? dangerous yo what first of all i didn't even know they had all that footage like video of them bringing the body out and the whole melee and all that i'm like wow yeah. like i had no idea yes um but just some of the revelations that came from that were um, pretty amazing to me there you go uh ace what else you got to show us man we all in right. your crib B. let's go let's do it let's do it all right so let's go books i'm um, reading i ain't scared i ain't scared of words this is the college that I went to, University of Rhode Island, and they featured me in the magazine. They, they mail these out to everybody who graduated from the school. So that's the... Ooh. Sorry. Sorry what a the... man, what a man, what a mighty good man. <laughs> this is a dope book right here. This is called Hip Hop at the End of the World. It's a photography book. I'm really into those kind of books. Yes. Um, and Ernie really goes deep with the history of hip hop He's been taking pictures for three decades, probably. Here's a nice picture of Slick Rick and Queen Latifah. Were you there when uh, Big Daddy Kane and, and uh, Slick Rick got into an argument backstage over going first? Nah, I wasn't there. I was not there. You they know the story though, right? They I know the story. I don't know if you got these. These are a pair of Timberlands, right? Okay. But if you, if, could you see that logo right there on the tongue? That's I know the, that logo. That's the Fat Beats logo. Fat ah, Beats Records logo. They did their own. They did their own terms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I hosted. I hosted this event, and uh, I, they were like, "Yo, you want to pay?" I was like, "Yes." This is going off by Ben Merle. It's the cold chilling story. A lot of controversy around this book, um, but he did his research. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I'm in here much, but uh, okay. it's, it's it's just the, telling the story of the record label cold chilling and. Telling a little bit of the truth about how they um, rob dudes. Is there something that you were a part of that was kind of like either a turning point? Back in like 90, 93, mm -hmm. um, I had I had some problem. I had a problem with with the group Onyx. Okay. And um, for many years, like we would have shows together, not speak. You know, everybody giving screw faces and. It was just like always tense and we had we had started doing a lot we were on a lot of bills together like festivals and stuff like that yeah um i mean me and fredro had already got past it but sticky was still a little like uh, yeah but we had a conversation as grown men and um hugged it out dapped it out and good i have a few old dirty bastard stories and i wanted to see if you had one i do have one go for it back in 91 jizza uh, had ODB, who wasn't a rapper yet. His name wasn't even ODB. He was just A-Song. Uh -huh. As his hype man. 
he sent ODB out to kind of warm the crowd up. So ODB comes out on stage, pretty sure he was already a little tipsy. And he didn't like the reception that he was getting from the crowd. Like music hadn't even started yet or nothing. He was just kind of like talking. He gets into this back and forth screaming match with the dudes in the front. It turns into dissing the whole crowd. You don't want your hype man making the crowd mad before you come on stage. True. But right after that show, um, they were like, yo, your boy can't go on tour. And he got kicked off the tour after the first show. <laughs> I mean, the I just first think he, one. I mentioned that the the lady who, who drew In the, the um, yeah, Miss Melody. Melody, she drew me and my daughter. It was a, a photo I posted of me and my daughter. Mm -hmm. And she decided to paint it. Her, her, she's my muddy paws. What I got next to me is just a, a, a real quick sample of some of the art Hit that, us. Diff, that different fans have have drawn over the over the years, right? So you just I know you're not an art critic, but these are just different ones. Megan, Caitlin Megan. Beautiful. So that that one. I got this one right here. It's kind of cool. This this is actually pencil. Woo! Oh, that's yeah. Beautiful. Kind of cool. Um, the artist here is see that? Oh, this is my man Confused Art from Germany. Arisklav, I get up. What other language you speak, Ace? Nothing. I speak Jobs. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go a little abstract on this next one. It's a Do little it. abstract. All right. Do it. This is me. Oh, he's a snack. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. I love That's, it. This graph name, I can't, I can't, I can't that read that. That wild style, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't read. This is an actual oil paint thing. You familiar with my album, The Fallen Season? Yes. Came out in 2017. Uh-huh. This is the actual oil paint thing of that album cover. This actual oil paint thing was scanned and then it, be it became my album cover. You see the you see the bus? Yes. The old school New York City bus. That's beautiful. That was painted by my man Temper, who's from the United Kingdom. He's from the UK, London. Salute. That's... I haven't taken it out since it since it arrived. He mailed it to me a couple years ago, and I've never taken it out of the uh, box. I took it out just for you, brother. I appreciate that because he just pulled out something from the stash for real. And that's beautiful. That's a very beautiful piece right there. Who's an artist that you're a super fan of? of I always like those like guys that nobody was talking about, like Chill Rob G. I'm 15 oh, I'm years old in the studio, right? Okay. And the engineer says, if you want to meet Chill Rob G, he's in studio number one. I'm going to lunch. So now I'm in the room and I'm thinking, what am I going to say to Chill Rob G? You know, what I mean? you know, I got, oh my God. So my hair's, I'm like, so I, I open the door and he sees me. He's alone. I'm alone looking 15. And I said, and I will attack and you don't want that. That's not his lyric. Ace, he said, oh, no. shorty, who put you up to that? Tell me right now. That was a bad move. <laughs> Bro, I didn't know. I said the lyrics from the snap version of the song and not the his power. version of the song, which he got sued for. So Ace, any any other goodness you want to show us? I, I just want to highlight this book right here because Jamal Shabazz, back in the day, all right? This is another photo, photo book. But this book right here, basically through photos, is a time capsule. It takes you back to the 80s. This is me at that age. Like, like literally, that's that's me. That, that would be, you know what I'm saying? That's how our crew looked. I love the fact that you come from a time when other people couldn't stomach right now and you are here right now. So Ace, with that being said, I love you. I thank you for everything that you've done. And I can't speak for anybody but myself. And I appreciate the great energy, the inspiration that you put out there. And that is super authentic. And we admire and I am inspired by you. I appreciate it, man. And I look forward to you being at the opening of my musical when it opens in New York. I know you'll be one of yes. the people in that, on that first night. For sure. We'll roll the blades on. 
Word. <laughs> Ace, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Let me just say masterace.com if you want one of these disposable arts hats or this Master Ace logo T. Yes. Masterace.com. Pick up some merch. Go for it, please. Masterace.com. Right, Be great. Success.